Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamo, has also defended the budget estimates of the Nigerian Police Force for the 2021 fiscal year before the House of Representatives. The lawmakers expressed their dissatisfaction with the underfunding of the force. Abisola Adebayo completes the story. If there is one security agency that's in the eyes of the storm now in Nigeria, it is definitely the police. After battling the hashtag NSAS protest and losing some of its men, facilities and ammunition to the violence, the morale of the force is considerably low. The Inspector General of Police explains that the major challenge confronting the force is lack of funds. Lawmakers are obviously displeased about the situation of the police. In the 2021 budget, the sum of 11 billion naira is proposed as capital expenditures to ensure security of lives and properties. This, the chairman of the House Committee on Police Affairs, Belo Kumo, says is grossly inadequate. The problem of envelope budgeting and ceiling is always a problem. Partial release of appropriated funds is a problem. Emerging security issues across the country, especially the Northwest, without fund for operational support is a problem for us. Lack of funding for police operations in the restoration of civil authority in the Northeast, that is Bono, Yove, and Adama State, is a problem for us. Unanticipated crises such as the global threat of COVID-19 pandemic came, unprepared and no funding. Ensign's protests and the aftermath destruction of police national assets will require funding to bring back the structures back to life. There is no availability of a budget left to cut up for police special operations in the country. Kumo Jarafta directed the police boss to submit an inventory of police stations destroyed as well as a list of personnel killed during the recent violence that rocked the country. Honorable Femi Bajagbi Amila and his able deputy, Honorable Wazi and the leadership, have informed me that I should direct you, Aji, to one, submit the list of our men who lay their lives in the course of their duty, particularly and most importantly during this answers, because this nice assembly. Is not only sensitive but it's responsive to not only protect Nigerians but equally protect the Nigerian police who are protecting Nigerians. So you have to do that, please, within one week so that before we tidy up the budget, we will now try to see how to factor in that. Two, we may need the inventory of stations that are burned down by criminals because there is a sharp contradistinction between legal protesters and the criminality aspect of the protests, yes. the hoodlums, as a liaison. I want to assure you that at the end of the passage of this budget, your capital should not be 11 billion. It should be far, far, far ahead of 11 billion. And that we can prove to you. The lawmakers, however, promised to look into the funding of police to ensure adequate security for Nigerians. Abisola Adebayo, TV360, Abuja.